I'm back. Y'all are gonna help me clean my table off this evening. I took a long nap. I don't know what's wrong with me, I think. What? Last few days, I've had to have a nap again. I've not done that in quite a while. But, got more Dollar Tree. I do. And I thought, if I'm gonna get it off my table, I better get to showing you. So it's been sitting here a while. Good thing we normally eat in front of the TV or we move stuff over or we got the aisle and depends on which is empty at the time. <coughs> One thing I wanna show you and I only bought two cans because I actually had plenty of cream of chicken soup or and cream of mushroom, all the cream soups. But they had the Tasty Kitchen cream of mushroom and cream of chicken, two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. Fifty cents a piece. And I didn't check the ounces on these versus the Campbell's or the other soups I get, but I figured two for a dollar. That is a good deal, don't you think? So I went ahead and got two to show you because they won't go to waste here. I do use a lot of cream uh, cream soups, so got those. This is one day when I was in the store with Eli. And of course, everybody knows I've been having issues, you know, with upper sinuses and I had an ear infection and had have antibiotics and Flonase and all that. Well, I took a fit in the store, and I said, Eli, ma'am, I better get some tissue. And I opened it in the store, and he said, ma'am, you opened it. I said, yeah, I need it. So, uh, it was the big value, larger size, 175 sheets. I didn't price uh, Kleenexes anywhere else, but I figured for $1.25, that's still a good deal. And I've got a box right here. I'm just going to put it down in there. <coughs> and this is a hodgepodge that I tell you. It's a little bit of fill-ins for the pantry, uh, some stuff my husband got, some stuff for the yard. It might be a two-parter. And I'm trying not to do too much talking so I can get more done. Homestyle butter. No artificial preservative flavors or dyes. Pop secret with a sprinkle of salt and taste of butter. Love popcorn. Eli and I both do. So I went ahead and bought one one box. Can't say it's thirty three cents a box now. It's more like I mean pack. It's more like what forty two cents a serving. Close to it. Still a good deal in my book. I don't look anywhere else for it. I just get it at the Dollar Tree. My friend Jan gave me some hot sauce when, hot garlic sauce <laughs> when we met up. And I'm believing this is it. It's called Florida Man's Lunacy. Roasted garlic. She can correct me if I'm wrong because it got mixed in with my Dollar Tree stuff <coughs> for some reason. Not Dollar Tree. But I seen this Aztec Revenge Garlic Ancient Flame Mexican Style Hot Sauce. So I bought one bottle of it. Like I said, $1.25. Don't know if it's good or not, but I have to season my foods up to where I can taste them. And I thought that would be a pretty good uh, thing to have. Went ahead and picked up another Worcestershire sauce, pantry basics, all purpose seasoning for the pantry. I was gonna see if it has an expiration date. And if it does, it's night time here. So I'm gonna have a harder time seeing. <coughs> Let me see. I cannot see it. 
fast by May of 23. They just make things to where you cannot hardly see them. You see that? <laughs> Got one of those. I love Heinz 57 on steak. Like we buy a lot of steak anymore. Pretend steak, you know, when I just ground up a patty and add some uh, uh, onions and peppers and all that. I call it my chopped steak. I like kinds 57, so I bought one bottle to go in the pantry. So when I use mine up, I'll have more. And again, I'm not even gonna fight to see the date. It, it's so light, you can't see it. My cats, and I've been talking about this. The same goes for my animals. It seems like they've been changing the flavor of the feeds and stuff or something. My lamp shade's a little crooked. You can tell my mind's all over the map. Uh, because they've gotten real, real finicky. And actually, this time when I ordered some uh, cat feed at the tractor supply, I bought their paws and claws. And they have actually gravitating toward that. And I think I consider that a generic uh, feed, but they seem like they like it a little bit better, but I thought as something different is compared to Purina Deli Cat, I tried one of these bags just to see if they liked it, 16 ounces. The cat on the bag likes it. And if they don't, my chickens will eat it. Got one of those. My cats, my dogs, my animals, they're spoiled. I try to make sure they got what they want. It's just right now, yeah, it, they're picky. I seen this facial gel cleanser, watermelon and sweet mint. And got one of those. I'm all about some uh, facial cleaners and uh, condition, you know, Softening the skin because summertime's coming up and I get really dirt and grimy camping and out in the yard. And I do like to switch things up a bit. I add, hi honey. I'm actually going to open this one up to smell because I'm gonna try it next. It smells good. So, hi honey. I just got out of the bath. Okay, thank you, sweetie. He took his bath for school. I got one of those. I told you it was night time. And it is, I will see if I can see the brand. Bolero. It's a Bolero product. Got this for Eli. I know I put uh, battery powered toothbrushes in the uh, kids in a stocking for Christmas and in the kids gift bags for Christmas but I thought I'd get an extra one to have on hand battery powered soft it even has the battery with the toothbrush so I thought it wouldn't hurt to have a backup but because he already has one of these and I didn't have any more replacement heads, they had the four pack of replacement heads. That's Lexi's hunting for food for $1.25. So I got one of those and one of these. This'll go put up and this one will open up to go ahead and replace one of the heads on his. Not sure why I bought like I said, I've had this a while. Just one of these, unless it was to show you or I had something in my head at the time. I always forget what I'm doing. Hanging lid. I've been seeing these quite a bit this year. Last year, not so much. And maybe I had a purpose for it. I will find a purpose for it, but one of the hanging lids that go in the mason jars, you can uh, do any numerous things with them. So I went and got one of those. <coughs> Got an extra neon multi-purpose lighter. 
I've already got a few of these, but between the camper, the camper, and the house, uh, it doesn't hurt to have a few. These are actually refillable, and I've not tried to do that. But it's called Neon Multipurpose Lighter for a dollar and a quarter. I still think that's a good deal. They're still showing up in the Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and got one because I know I'll use it eventually, whether for canning or for preserving food in my jars. The canning snap lids. I will say a lot of people are using them and saying they're having success with them. There's a few saying they're not. I've got a project coming up because of something I bought at the Dollar Tree that I'm actually going to try these on. It might be a few days, weeks, months, but I do have a project I want to try these on where I'm not wasting a lot of money, even if I have to reprocess. But 10 pieces for a dollar and a quarter, I think still a good deal. That's what the other side looks like. I showed a mocha iced latte chilled coffee drink by uh, Victor Allen's the other day. This one contains 15% more. This is the vanilla flavor. I think I told you the other day I knew I had another one and I did. I have the vanilla flavored. So I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. Every once in a while, I like to have something cold to drink. And um, like tonight, I've got my coffee because I always do. But then I got my cold drink right here because my throat says it needs something cold. Went ahead and bought another pure cane sugar, two pounds for a dollar and a quarter. To me, that's still a fairly good deal. It says best by February of 2024, but we know sugar really does not go bad. So every once in a while when I see these, I will pick them up because my husband, I use real sugar in his oatmeal, which he has practically every morning. If anybody watches, they know normally it's oatmeal, toast, and eggs. But I like to use real sugar in his oatmeal. Bought a uh, plain pound cake. I piled the lemon. They had the plain. Some people are saying, and I agree, that the some of the pound cakes are kind of dried out. They feel a little bit dried out. <clears throat> I noticed that on the lemon, which I hadn't noticed before. So I don't know if they're changing formulation and a lot of stuff, honestly. But if I put it in the microwave just for 10, 15 seconds, you moisten it back up. But I like to get the plain pound cake. It's made in USA. And it's shelf stable actually till July of 22. So it's good till the summer. I like buying these because I make strawberry shortcakes out of them a lot of times, quick ones. I'll slice it, put my strawberries, my whipped cream on it, and my husband's happy. Eli's happy. I'm happy if they're happy. And, or you can just have a slice of it with coffee. Or if you like, like me and you like more icing than you do cake, you can actually drizzle a little icing on it. But for a dollar and a quarter, it's not bad, but I will tell you, uh, Family Dollar Store carries the pound cakes too, so when you find them there, the last I looked, which was fairly recent, they were still a dollar at the Family Dollar Store, but I wasn't there, I was at the Dollar Tree, so I got one. I'll never make Easter baskets up again early. I'll tell you why. I had two little kids sneaking into them when Adeline was here uh, the other weekend. Two little ones, 11 year old and a five year old. They ate their bunnies out of their Easter baskets. Well, I didn't replace it with the same bunny, but I did get two more bunnies because I felt kind of bad when I go to hand them to them and they don't have any uh, bunnies in their basket. One's hippie and one's hoppy. I don't know who's get, who's a getting what. Here's Hoppy. I just bought the smaller one, 1.5 ounces. 
gotta have a bunny in your Easter basket, don't you think? And here's Hippie. Hippie and Hoppy. I have to remember those names. I have to name some of my chickens Hippie and Hoppy now. Who knows? But here's Hippie. <coughs> Do they look different? No. Well, a little bit different. You can see they're a little bit different. But anyway, those go on the Easter baskets. I don't know if they... I, I've been buying these pieces as I find them. I bought the rake. I bought the... Uh, something, the smaller tool. But I've got the uh, garden shovel. Fairly good sized garden shovel. And for a dollar and a quarter, I would buy that anytime because I don't think you'll find it cheaper anywhere else. And it's a, uh, I was gonna see, just a Greenbrier product. So I got one of those. I've got some of these in the pantry, but I thought, well, while I see it, I'm gonna get another one. This one's good till November of 2022. The nacho cheese sauce. In the summertime, we do a lot of nachos and chips and nacho cheese and chips and different things, quicker foods because we're camping and all that. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get one can of these to put in the pantry. Getting a little long, so I'm gonna show you some items I got for the yard before we end this one. And then I'll keep going, I hope. I bought these last year, and I, I've been going out at night, getting rid of the ones that aren't lighting up anymore. So I bought two of these solar lights in the yellow to go in my yard. So you pull the tab out, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out because I'll go out there and put it out for the sun, hopefully tomorrow, <laughs> charge it. You can see that they're on right now. So I'll put these outside and then let the sun charge them. And for a dollar and a quarter, to me, that's still a good deal. I might do some lower baskets in different places. I'm not what you call a gardener. But I do like to have a few things in my yard. So I've got two of these plant hangers. And you'll see in another haul something I bought to put on them. <coughs> but I got two of those. And for a dollar and a quarter, they're still a great deal to me. And I see, if, yeah, they're 30 inches tall. And they work well. Unless kids pull them up and start playing with them. I've got one of these, but I bought a second one. I think I said it a few weeks back. I'd like to have another long one. It's a plant hook. But I may be using this somewhere else. Still haven't done it. Yeah. Hang on one second here. I dropped my lot. Now these I'm sharing with Omi. I bought some plant steaks. I got the hummingbird. I think those are pretty. And it's got, see the little jewel? The little stone in it. <laughs> and like I said, I'm sharing with Omi. So I've got two of these. Now I got three of these. I've been tangling them up. I'm glad to be showing them to you so I can do something with them. <coughs> I've got a total of three of them. At least one of them goes to Omi. <coughs> They're all just alike. Omi, I'm coming for you. We're going to fly her away. And I bought hummingbird feeders, which I've showed you in another haul. And... I bought 
to it, but I call them these, are they bees? They look like bees to me. Kind of like bees. What do you call these? I think they're cute. <laughs> I got only one and got me one. I thought it better show you these before. Uh, the season's over and you can't find them. They still have yard stakes. They just don't have a big variety of them. I appreciate you spending your time with me tonight. Or today. Or whenever you see this. I have more to show you. And I'll, I may sit here and do another one real fast. I hope you find what you want to look for at the Dollar Tree. Some things at a dollar and a quarter. Unless I need them right then and keep from going into a bigger store, I'll hold off on. But then there's still a lot of stuff that's a good deal. There is. So until next time, we'll talk soon.